begin with the Ask Me Anything session, I would like to invite Rohani Sandhu, Deepshree, Anupriya Gupta, Ishwar Goyal, Anish Sagal, and of course Rahul Singh. So good evening ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming for this third alumni reunion. We shall formally begin the Ask Me Anything session. So primarily we had asked students from Jaipur High School to submit questions via Google form. So we have some questions which have already been posted on Google as well as Pigeonhole. So I'll take the first question. Hello everyone, my name is Rohani Sandhu. I'm a 2002 batch graduate and uh, I am a tea blogger. I work a lot into tea business and I'm very happy that you're all here. So um, if you have any questions, let's talk about it. Uh, hi, I am Deepshri. I am from the 2010 batch. Uh, I finished my graduation uh, in uh, law, so I'm a lawyer right now and pursuing my masters and preparing for judicial exams. So if you have anything related to law that you need to ask, you can ask me. Good evening everyone, I'm Anupriya Gupta, 2003 batch. I am an electrical and electronics engineer and working with Government of India's Maharatna organization Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited as deputy manager and looking after the overseas business of BHEL which is spanning across 83 countries in the world. Good evening everyone, this is Anish Sehgal, batch of 2002. I'm an MBA by education and uh, probably the best way to describe is a guy who's absolutely, absolutely crazy about business. Hello everyone, I'm from the first batch, 97 fortunately. And uh, I have been purely from the science background, but later on I qualified as a CA. I'm a law graduate and practicing in Lucknow. I mentioned I am from the science background because there's a myth that for qualifying CA you have to be going through a commerce field. But it's not necessarily. So you, any questions regarding your future or a career for CA, you can ask me. Yeah, hi, uh, my name is Rajiv Jain. Uh, just like Ishwar, I'm from the 97 batch. So I, w I work for a management consulting for firm called PricewaterhouseCoopers, uh, based out of Atlanta, and happy to be here. Thank you so much for the introduction. My name is Rahul. I'm the president for the Alumni Association. So we have a very distinguished panel over here. To my left, we have consultants, we have CA, we have a business tycoon. To my right, we have somebody from the public sector unit, we have a lawyer, and we have an entrepreneur. So uh, that's a very diverse kind of a panel, and the first question which came through Google was, what was the role of Jaipuri in your achievement? So Rohani, can we have your views on that? What was the role of Jaipuri in your achievement, if at all? I think I would like to tell everyone here that, you know, we all are, our foundation of life begins in school, and we, we learn a lot of things in life. And as we move on further, we understand what our weaknesses are and what our strengths are. So Jaipuria was my foundation and it actually encouraged me to go and pursue engineering like many of us think about. And at that point, with my education and a lot of experiences that I had, it led me further. And at some point, I believe, you know, like being on the stage here many times, I had the problem of uh, realizing that I'm not a public speaker. Like I'm just giving an example. But Moving on in life, I realized that you know my, my job is a lot into speaking and I'm a T-note speaker, a TEDx speaker. And school actually teaches you a lot of things in life, but it also tells you that, okay, what are your weaknesses and what you can actually work further and get better at. And your teachers, your courses, they're just textbook. But there are a lot of things which actually get in your mental mind and you know you move further in life with a lot of qualities. And definitely school is the building block of that. Yeah, so uh, school, like she said, lays the foundation of a person, of a student. And it's not just about education. School is another home for us. We study there for, for 12 whole years. So everything that we know is being taught to us by schools. And Jaipuria, for me and for all of us, I think has played that all-round development place for us. It was not just academics. It was proper focus was given to uh, extracurricular activities, to sports, to cultural events. So like the overall development that the person needs to have in order to succeed in life, I think that is provided by the school and I hope it continues doing so. Uh, for me, Jaipuria guys is not only a school, a home, definitely it is a home, it is a school. But for me, in simple terms, it's my heaven. In fact, I also have an old photograph which says my Jaipuria, my heaven, it's still there with me. 
so uh, whatever i have achieved i think maximum of that uh, portion i would i would owe to this place here and you guys are really really fortunate to be called as a jaipurian because one thing which is unique to this place uh, guys is that jaipuria lets you know yourself you can actually uh, you know how to cross the barriers in life when i was here of course all of us have those assemblies where you know we have to mandatorily uh, you know recite a poem or a news article or whatever from that to now i think that is where i learned how to speak when it comes to music i was discussing with paliwal sir uh, from here i learned what music is so it's about crossing all barriers and whatever you do in life that fear of knowing that you can do it or you can't that is what this place has told me that i can do anything if i really wish to and it has all started at this place guys so jaipuria definitely is a heaven and be proud to call yourself mighty mighty jaipurians Thank you so much Anupriya for that enthusiastic answer. I really love that. Jaipuria is a heaven and be proud to be in this Maybe heaven. We have a picture which says that. Oh, we would like to see that later on. Definitely. <laughs> Anish, your views. How did you become business tycoon? Well, I would first uh, like to mention this that I have I've had the privilege of studying at two Jaipurias. So I did my initial three years with Kanpur Jaipuria post which I migrated to Lucknow Jaipuria. A lot has been said by my fellow panelists about you know the experience of being this that that i would just categorically mention this to you that whatever you achieve is whatever your school makes you so whatever i've achieved is for the other people to tell but whatever i have it's because of jaipuria the foundation is jaipuria will always be jaipuria and that is why we call it the mighty jaipurians the alumni that we are as anupriya said ki we have to we have been forced in, in fact to do everything we have to participate in every sports we have to participate in every curriculum we have to be we have to be prepared when we, we were there we were supposed to give example and the topics were given just 20 minutes or 30 minutes before so this way your your confidence the confidence to do anything the confidence to participate it comes into you and whatever you do i just uh, in my previous talk i said ki i was from the purely science background and that courage to switch from science to commerce it was very much hype for me to switch over that uh, stream from com science to commerce and that what jaipuria gave us to us and the main aim for the getting all these success is one has to be disciplined because once you are disciplined you can do anything and goal you you have to set goals for whatever you are doing for then 20000 miles from lucknow to atlanta but yes nevertheless i think just like everybody else i mean uh, jeffrey had a great role i mean uh, we were the first batch i think we had the greatest teachers uh, gol ma'am or vidnakshan sir uh, yeah it's a good uh, yeah uh, i mean I, i think the rules at that time were very different I mean, uh, we were uh, punished uh, in a very different way. We were rewarded in a very different way. It was the first batch, so I think overall, I would say, you know, uh, played a great role uh, in what I am today, um, and that's why I'm here. You know, back to the school. I brought my son. He's eight year old. He was extremely excited to see my school, so I brought him back, and you know, so that he can see the school that I went to. Yeah, in fact, it was lovely to see you, sir. I think he is the most enthusiastic participant tonight. <laughs> do, do you have any question, young lad? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. So uh, we have another question here. Uh, it's a quite an interesting question. How do you decide what you should do, and how do you become the one? Anybody would like to take that? How do you decide what do you want to be and how do you become the one? Rohani you you can take that come on you you probably are one of the most successful person on the panel It's actually like a 1 million dollar question like how do you decide what you want to be you you could be like 70 years, years old and still don't know what to do and you know like in life there are different phases that you go through So it is totally your calling what you want to do it's uh, it, there, there's no recipe for it like you might be an engineer and from there you get into and probably you decide to open a design firm or maybe a marketing agency 
it's all up to where in life you are and what you want to do and what is obstructing you from going further and it's all about like if you look at the modern lifestyle we are going through a lot of stress we have we are way competitive the human mind has never been uh, in that state of evolution you know we are constantly discovering the new possibilities we are getting bored really fast so it's all up to you what you want to do and once you decide what you want to do you have to set you have to see it okay these are my goals now how do i reach there it's all up to you there's no one who's going to push you it's all up to your decision in life like for me i i'm an electrical engineer and i decided to get into tea that was a big step and a big leap in my life you know i i cannot explain it to people what drove me into it but it was my calling and i actually felt so strong for it and i went for it and i did what i wanted to do i'm very happy with what i'm doing and i love what i do thank you thank you rohani so we have microphones in the back uh, any one of you would like to ask questions we have microphones there feel free to pose a question guys please try to give specific career oriented questions it will be great and helpful for you so so i think jaipur ya teaches you all the answers so there are no questions so <laughs> So uh, 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 really guys you don't have any questions which batch are you guys in front who are clapping which batch are you 2015 you have no questions okay interesting <laughs> sure sure go ahead see i have come from kanpur and i have to go back so just tell me when is the dance party so i can dance and go back at least to remember that i used to dance uh, quick quick rah anish is the best qualified to answer that Ma'am, well, we sitting here for a career panel discussion, and I'm, I don't think that's a career we're talking about right now. Sure, ma'am. Right. So, guys at the back, do you have any questions? Nobody has a question. I have a list of questions. Yes, I can go through that, but I wanted to give the opportunity to the audience if they have any questions. You ha you have some questions? I have a quiz. You have a quiz? Okay, come on. That's lovely. So, wh why don't you ask them the question? Priya quiz, Priya quiz, Priya quiz, Priya quiz. Do you remember your favorite places in school? To go, to go, to go. Anything else? Anything else? Each other's tipples. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Who laid the foundation stone for Jaipuria? Jaipuria, Jaipuria. You know which person laid the foundation stone? Anybody? Come on. Who laid the foundation stone of Jaipuria? Right. Right. Sorry. Sorry. Right. That goes to you. Come on, give her a big round of applause. That's Dr. Raja Ram Jaipuria. Who knows the date and the year the school was inaugurated? That's a year. Come on, give me the date. After the quiz. April 92. But what's the date? Don't try your luck. Then you start counting from first and you go down to third. That's wrong. Well, we all love this day. We have lots of fun, and that's the year the school was really inaugurated. Was first in '92. '92. Guys, now we are going to have tug of war between current students and the alumni. So, any takers, any muscle men there, any muscle women there who want to participate? Actually, in the true tradition of Jaipur, the students have left. The only people remaining are teachers. So, we'll have tug of war between teachers and alumni. How about that?
get new people inducted. So first change is Shantanu Shukla is joining as a Chief Content Officer. Responsibilities being Head of Digital Media Creation, Multi-Channel Publications of the organization including Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook and YouTube. Have a round of applause for him. Shantanu Shukla is there. Power Cell Takeover as a Technology Officer. His responsibilities include maintain the website for the organization and also database for the alumni as well as giving a strategic direction to the organization. Thank you, Powers. Management and marketing communication, which will also include preparation of marketing as well as sponsorship deck. Thank you, Anupriya. We have Ishwar Goel, who is our financial consultant and CA. Ishwar is to my left. Can we have a round of applause for Ishwar? We have Taran Singhal right here. He is going to be our Chief Operating Officer. He is responsible for the execution of the events including logistics. Apart from, that, apart from this, we in absentia we have Gopika who is going to be the legal consultant for the group. Can I now request the old EXCO member including Anish Sehgal, Shreya, Arpit, Arpit Arora. The resolution passed. Somebody needs to propose it. Somebody. I propose to make the result uh, changes just announced. Uh, I need somebody to second the resolution. Arshit, to second the resolution. Okay, I second. So, any objections to the resolution? Thank you.